Here's a Nick question. Do you update Neat. content on PBN? If yes, how frequently? Thanks. Yeah, so um, that's interesting. Uh, and I love that uh, we're getting some PBN questions because I feel like we don't get them often enough. And, um, you know, I replied to a comment in a thread the other day uh, by Sharia Jane. Uh, what was your, what is your favorite type of link to use? And even though it's not my most widely used link. Um, PBNs are still my favorite link um, because once you really, you know, build a solid PBN network um, and uh, you've got access to this at your fingertips, you can really use it um, in a whole lot of different ways. You know, you can, as it ages and you do add content, you could use the inner pages to resonate like niche edits do. Um, you could even ask, add um, you know, guest post style links to inner pages. Uh, a lot of people conceptualize that the PBN is only used for home page um, contextual backlinks. And yes, that's where the most power is going to come from. However, uh, you can widely diversify uh, the way that you use them. And then in turn, whenever you give that attention to the PBN, um, it it resonates as an active website that's doing more than just putting new contextual homepage um, posts up uh, that are rolling. Now, having said that, if you conceptualize the vast amount of websites that exist on the internet, um, I would say majority are, you know, small websites that don't really change. They act as business cards. Um, and so, uh, do you have to uh, change the way that they look or add content to them frequently? Um, no, not necessarily, but maybe a hypothetical could be that they lose their potency over time, right? Um, so is it a good idea if you've got a private PBN uh, of maybe 10 sites and uh, you know, you're not selling links on it or anything like that, um, I've got private PBNs, and then we've got, of course, uh, PBNs that we um, rent links on or, or sell links on. And so they act very naturally. It's part of the reason our PBN is very secure in comparison to a lot of others is we are pushing content through them um, often. Um, and we do have ways of upkeeping them that uh, add to the longevity of the PBN itself. But if you're an individual building a PBN, maintaining a PBN, that's a little bit harder to do. But let's say you've got like 10 sites. If you want to come in once every six months or one, uh, once every year and just add a, a handful of cheaper articles to it with no backlinks in there, um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Just, um, you know, a, a PBN costs money. Um, it takes quite a bit of money to maintain, to build, et cetera. Why not put you know, an article on iWriter costs five, six dollars. I don't use the lowest tier stuff if I if I was going to use something like iWriter, but I'd use, you know, something that costs a little bit more money that isn't complete trash and uh, just put it on there. It's going to maintain or help maintain what you've built, what you've spent money on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do you have to do it? No. Um, but would it be considered best practice in my opinion? Yes. It's, you know, PBNs are, are just like any other website and what's good for any, any website is to have new content added to it over time. Right. Google, mm -hmm. I think rightfully so. I think this is a, a good move in, in their, um, the way their algorithm works, you know, they, uh, they favor websites that are being shown some love, you know, they like websites that are active. They just like, you know, a customer would like a store that is, you know, being cleaned, being changed, having new inventory added right. to it. Um, you know, you think about your website as, you know, if it's just sitting there, no new content for, for years, it's basically just this dark basement, you know, room with cobwebs growing over it everywhere. Um, yeah, you know, Google likes to see and promote um, content on the internet that is um, actively being uh, managed, that's actively being uh, improved upon. You know, they're trying to serve the the users the best uh, information possible and a PBN is a website just like any other website um, but yeah like you know like Nick said um, you, you know you're definitely trying to be like cost effective here and stuff as well and you don't want to be spending too much time on your PBN sites um, 
Nick, do you ever do you ever uh, just like go ahead and like order uh, a bunch? Of, maybe not a bunch, but you could order like a few articles and just like schedule them to go out like through over the course of a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like, do that. Like every like three months or something. There's mm -hmm. like a new you know yeah. cheap article being put up automatically. Yeah, and I mean, um, I don't really do that. I mean, you know, we've got um, assistants now that manage all that stuff for us. Um, so you know, we've got a level of automation, but uh, hypothetical, if I had a small PBN, that'd probably be a good idea. You know, you come to it once every six months, once a year, schedule a handful of posts and, uh, let them go. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just try the, try the, try the scheduling tool. If you, uh, just don't want to spend too much time, you can just knock it out real quick. Right. And then you don't got to think about it for another, another year or two or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, um, ask more uh, PBN questions, everybody. You know, I feel like we don't get enough of them. Um, I feel like we downplay um, the value that they bring to the table once you really know how to use them. The problem, I think, with PBNs and why we don't talk about them much is that it's usually <laughs> newer people that want to get into, into PBNs because they think it's the hammer that's going to make them a ton of money, but it, it just doesn't work that way. However... Mm, they're a very, very powerful tool that you can use if you are aware of what you're doing and you do have a um, a good recipe for how to use them properly. I also feel like um, kind of like more of a white hat mentality has kind of gained popularity over time. Um, yeah. Which I, uh, you know, I see the value in it. I understand why people kind of gravitate towards that stuff. You know, it's a decision kind of which way you want to go with this type of thing. And obviously there's best, best practices of, of handling things, of doing things. If you choose to go the more black hat route. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's, um, also, I, I feel like a lot of SEOs have kind of like lost their, like their, uh, I don't want to say anything bad, but just, uh, I don't know. They've, they've lost a little bit of something and everyone's getting a little bit too safe. When I got opinion. my start, PBNs were r rampantly talked about. Um, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, it was exactly. like the main point of topic. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's calmed down since then. Um, you know, there's different tools the and then it's grown. Right. It's yeah. Um, but also you've got know. to consider the people, you know, and and. Sorry to plug ourselves, but we're one of the last um, remaining public, uh, you know, PBNs available, um, which is kind of funny, public-private blog network. But anyhow, um, you know, and, and there's reason for that. And it's because we have evolved with the landscape, right? Um, what I was doing, you know, six, seven years ago is completely different than what I'm doing now um, with the PBNs. Um, you know, they... they look and feel a whole lot more like um, guest posts that you would get off something like Fiverr maybe. Um, you know, not the best content, but not garbage content. Um, you know, the site, it's active. It does have content constantly pushing through it. Um, diversification on the types of links that go out, etc. And so, um, you know, a PBN isn't how it used to be in the sense that, you know, you just revive a site, put a thousand words of content on it, no design elements, no real consideration to how the site's supposed to be. Um, you know, unlike uh, those early PBNs, now a PBN has to be set up really just as well as a uh, as a normal functioning site in order to uh, in order to last. And you spend so much money on those domains that you really you can't stand to see um, to see them get the index. So you, you spend the extra money up front. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.